This is an animation by Professor Rosalind Searle, Professor Darren Hodgetts, Dr Veronica Hopner and Professor Stuart Carr. For more information and outputs on human security psychology, please visit Project SAFE at project-safe.net. Human security safeguards the vital core of all human lives from critical threats. These protections can be broken down into 10 dimensions. 1. Personal security. Personal security means living free from violence. 2. Environmental security. This concerns the integrity and health of the physical environment. 3. Economic security. This includes regular basic incomes to prevent poverty. 4. Food security. The means of physical and financial access to nutritious food. 5. Health security. Protection from disease and infection alongside access to affordable health care. 6. Community security. This dimension focuses on safe neighbourhoods and peaceful intergroup relations. 7. Political security. Political security ensures basic human rights. 8. National security. The safety of countries from both traditional and non-traditional threats. 9. Cyber security. Encompassing the safety of information technology in critical infrastructure and associated digital hazards. And lastly, 10. Global security. Global security is important in an age of major climate change, socio-economic disruptions and where distinctions between domestic and foreign can be redrawn. Human security psychology is a new perspective that encompasses efforts within psychology to address issues of insecurity arising from these 10 dimensions of human security. It outlines research and practice within psychology that enables human beings to not only feel safe and secure psychologically, but also to be safe and secure materially. Human security psychology also shows how different subdisciplines of psychology contribute knowledge of and responses to issues of human security. For example, clinical counselling and health psychologies address insecurities in mental and physical health. Work psychology is about enabling decent work and economic conditions, such as income and job security. Community psychology is about promoting social ties and attachments to particular places that enable people to weather insecurities. Environmental psychology is about addressing insecurities associated with climate change and pollution. Political psychology is about enhancing political systems to ensure national security, particularly in times of intergroup conflict. By joining up these subdisciplines of psychology, we can help security in all areas flourish by ensuring people have access to resources and are treated with dignity, fairness and respect. As Adam Smith noted in 1776, no society can surely be flourishing and happy, of which the far greater part of the members are poor and miserable. It is but equity, besides that they who feed, clothe and lodge the whole body of the people, should have such a share of the produce of their own labour as to be themselves tolerably well fed, clothed and lodged.